That's one thing I'm going to add this year is this outboard motor support and uh, just goes on the transom. So when you're trailering, it'll just support the motor and keep it attached. With this setup, um, if you're going over bumps, it tends to bounce quite a bit. Um, so I just want to avoid that, so I'm going to show you how to install that. So this is what's included in the kit. You get these two arms um, that will go together. These rubber dampers that will go in between um, to just absorb shock. This piece here will go, your lower unit will slide in here, and then you have two options to mount to the trailer. If you have a roller at the back, you can use this. This will fit over the roller, and you can just trim down, and it'll um, just stay in place there. The other option is this guy here, which will permanently mount to the rear of the trailer. It'll just go on like so and hold it in place. because on the back of the trailer I don't have a roller, I'm gonna use the uh, permanent mount bracket here. Over here I've got a weld that sticks out uh, quite a ways. Um, so I'm just gonna put that off-centered a bit and maybe right around there. Uh, the other option, I guess you could just gr grind this down, but uh, I'm just gonna uh, drill a hole right here and uh, mount that bracket. So I drilled an 8 inch pilot hole, I'm going to come back with this 5 16 bit and finish off the hole. Okay, so you need a 13 millimeter uh, socket for this. That guy will go like this, you, you don't want it like this, you want it just to run like that. You're going to take your washer, put it on the back side and then your nut on the back side. Okay, and because this is a carriage bolt, just make sure it locks into place into the square slot. And uh, you can just tighten it up from the back. Next we're gonna attach this V block here, just with the uh, nut and a bolt into the mortar support. That's how you wanna do it, and you'll just tighten it down. And then the next step will be to take these rubber bushings slide them down the hole and then you'll see them in here so once you get those um, rubber uh, dampers in there you're going to want to put this down so it slides down in there and then the side that has the um, multiple holes on that you'll slide that into place okay, so just like that and you're just going to have to put a little pressure on the back end just so you can get a bolt through that hole. Okay, so that's your last, last step, bolt, washer, washer, nut. So what that's gonna allow you to do now is as there, there's shock and bumps on the road, that'll act as a shock absorber, those dampers in there. So you don't want that super tight, you just want it so it will still move freely. I've gone ahead and applied that decal and then up here I've just put this pin into place and that'll keep the uh, bracket here. You can pivot up, so I'll just raise that motor up and get it into that V-groove. Okay, so that's it installed there. The strap that they supplied didn't uh, have enough stretch in it, so I've just put this one on. The motor will tend to want to uh, go one way, so it's probably best just to turn it in that direction. And you can see, well within that compression zone, 